A very weak LPA off of the coast of Mindanao here and the northeast monsoon, a.k.a. a cold surge, setting up in the north. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Those are the two big topics out here in the western Pacific today. You see on our surface analysis that stationary boundary, also known as the Shirin Front in the uh, Japan, or the Akinoame, which means autumn rain um yeah that's uh, basically what we're seeing here now that's gradually going to work its way south as we look ahead over the course of the next 24 48 hours and interact with the easterlies and create almost a bit of an early season shear line across central areas of the philippines while still bring kind of a cooler blast of air to taiwan and maybe even some onshore flow to vietnam you're going to be looking at some rainfall too so a little bit of a one-two punch in these uh, two different scenarios here we can actually take a look at our metro weather weatherscape uh, outlook here with the ecmwf showing our broad low trying to form up right over a palau that's that island right here by the way Beautiful spot. Been there once. So privileged to have gone there. Absolutely gorgeous. But uh, this low is going to come form up over that. Move on shore, potentially just right around Shargao, bringing scattered showers basically Sunday into Monday. Now, is this going to become a typhoon? Nothing indicates that. In fact, the ECMWF is the more bullish guidance. We can even take a look at our Google DeepMind. You know, I love the DeepMind recently. This is uh, recently, I would say, going into the future here. This model has just been handling on point and that little red dot that's that's all it puts <laughs> it's like mm, i don't see it so if that doesn't see it I, I I don't terribly see it, but I do see the convection here. So I'm still going to use my meteorology bone with me and uh, try to make a forecast without using the deep mine. And yeah, you can kind of see that flow coming in just like that. But I think the bigger topic still continues to be the shear line with that m northeast monsoon setting up the Siberian high. That's why it's so dry out there interacting with the easterlies. And that just slams. And that's why Vietnam's looking actually at some so much rainfall all over the upcoming days so multi-faceted impacts out here in the western pacific from the north towards the south with the tropics and more so the easterlies and that's what kind of i want to end on with the note here that um we are in the transition season and we are going to see more of these cold surges. This is probably the first big one, but expect that to continue to be the main scenario with the forecast as we look ahead and thus we transition away from the tropics. Now, do storms form in November and December? You bet they do. Some of the deadliest in history, especially for the Philippines, do. But they're less likely. But when they do, they're serious. So... I'm going to do my best to, the course, keep you posted. Let's talk about these systems when they happen. And I'm able to do that because of our members on Patreon who support this channel. It's the reason why every single day I put out a video. Today I wasn't going to it, and I was like, I should. I see what's, I see this little, this guy right here really made me want to, but I'm like, I should. The, the monsoon is still a topic. So I'm not going to give you your door-to-door -door forecast with these, but my goal is to give you a general overview and idea. So you can stay weather aware and make those plans and do your things and whatever you want to do with your life. I don't know. You live your best life. You know, by the way, this cold surge. Ooh, this is a big one. The cold surge. I'm going to put a short video on this page too. So the cold surge. <laughs> I'll get to it. The cold surge um, <laughs> is actually bringing cold air to Japan. In fact, Mount Fuji saw its first snowfall of the season. So that kind of emphasizes, I should have led with that in this video, because that does emphasize that this is one of the first cold surges of the year, is that uh, Fujisan seen some snow. So, yeah, fun. All right, I'll lead. Uh, if you, people say they like my rant, so you, if you stuck around for the rant part of the video, um, you, got, you got that. You got that little tidbit. Fujisan uh, had his first snow, I think, 16 days later than average. But uh, they, it typically happens when a good, solid cold surge sets up, bringing some cooler air. So, fun. Stay safe out there, friends. All right? Bye.